Hi, I'm Rick from the Game Creators. Welcome to these Game Guru tutorials. In this short video, we're just going to have a look around the interface and see what the various tools do. So, at the top, we have the main menu, file menu for doing load and save, edit for undo and redo, uh, some terrain tools for sculpting the landscape, and help when you need it is always at hand. The menu bar here with icons does things like load and save, zoom in and out of the map, uh, terrain tools, painting tools, adding entities, doing things like waypoints for enemies, testing your level, and also uh, entering multiplayer mode. The library here uh, is split into two sections, entities and markers. Markers, things like start markers, where your player will start when you run your game, checkpoint markers, uh, if your player gets to a certain point, then it will remember where you got up to in your game. Cover zones, these are for enemies. And then we've got things like lights as well, so you can light your scene up. And then we've got things like wind zones, so you might get to the end of a level. Enter that zone, and you would win the game. Entities, we've got a big selection of entities in the library for you to choose from. Characters, zombies medieval characters, cityscapes, lots of things. Uh, there's a jetpack there so you can fly around. Foliage, furniture, industrial, medieval, scenery and weapons. Lots to choose from. We'll be adding more to that as we evolve the product as well. And then we've got the Genguru store icon here. You click on that, it opens your web browser and you're into the Game Guru store. That simple. Then you can start browsing and finding new items. For example, we've got free items, and then you can look at all the free items and download those. We encourage you to get into the store and add to your media collection. At the base of the screen, we've got a status panel. So if you've got an object, let's select um, a building. And when you click on that object, you get details about the object in the status bar. As you can see, it really is easy to use. In the following tutorials, we'll explore each of these areas in more detail. Please keep watching the tutorials, and soon you'll be making your own great games.